All right, bath merchant, let's see what you got. Beyond buying your standard normal items, what I want to buy, he doesn't have any weapons, but he does have some decent armor set going on right now. And I can buy all of it, so... I don't think I really need anything else from him at the moment. So if you really want to look like the, what the uh, opening game looked like... Instead of Dracula loser. You still see the hair poking through. <laughs> Let's see a close-up of his face like this. His eyes still will poke through, which makes it great. Where's the wall? There's the wall. Little derpy eyes just poking through. <laughs> but I like this outfit a lot more. It looks super cool. All right. I don't think there's anything else we want to spend the blood on, so... Unfortunately, let's just go forward. See, now that we're back here, we can actually can choose which um, lantern to go to. We want to go to Central Yarnin. If you notice, now that we're back here, the door opened. Oh. So, in here... For one, there's this dude here in a wheelchair. Aha! You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter. Neil Young, no! It does look a lot like Neil Young. Look at him. For now, I am... Gehrman. Gehrman is... Seems like he's in charge of this particular world. be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know... It's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. So beyond talking to him, main thing we want to go to is this bench right here, because it's our upgrading bench. And we have some upgrading materials to upgrade said cane with. So we can start doing more attack damage. And I think we actually boost the type of modifier it is, so let's go. I don't have enough bloodstones to increase it beyond that, but now it's hitting harder. And if you could also increase the strength of your blunderbuss, but right now primary weapons the more of the key here. So now I got a more powerful cane. Nice. You're not using the blunderbuss much right now, anyway. It's used in certain points, but uh, in fact, we might actually be using it for the first boss. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So for now, I'm back to Central Yarmin. Yarnum. Yarnan, Yarman. This city is absolutely ginormous, by the way. To me, I feel like the, the people who created Dark Souls were so inspired by the uh, all the characters from Dark Souls that were from that one land, uh, that kind of the dual-wielding land. What was it? It was the one where it had that evil guy in it that... <laughs> I know, I'm getting into it. <laughs> Kill, kills that's the, specific. Kills the, the, the seer that's at, that's at the Firelink Shrine. Lortic? Lotric. Oh, uh, Anne Rolando. No, not Ander Londo. Um, it's one of the countries that's, that are kind of in the area, though. It's where Lotric's from. I don't think we'd go to where Lotric is from, but... Well, we never go to where he's from, but the people that show up from that where he's from are very... There's a guy, like that Jester guy, who who kind of looks a lot like our character. Oh, uh, Kareem? Yeah. It looks like this could be very inspired by the, the world of Kareem. Okay. So, now we're on this side. We're going to be going down this way now. And there's two of these ogres running around. So if you remember, the best way to kill an ogre is, for one, keep a slight distance and get him to swing when he's a little farther away. And then shoot. Usually he has enough stamina to get back up, so just whack him once and he goes down. These guys don't always seem to drop blood vials too, which is super useful. Come on, buddy. Do you have a particularly big window to shoot him? Uh, with these guys, yes. For a lot, there's a lot of enemies, not so much. Okay, so we, he could go this way, but it's locked currently. And also, there's the second boss is this way, and he's balls hard. So we're gonna wait until we're a little <laughs> stronger before we fight him. 
but we're gonna go this way instead. One thing we want to do is we're gonna cut underneath this bridge here, and raw right here we can unlock the other side of this door, so it's passes the house completely. We got some stuff to do over here. All right, now we're gonna go down this way. There's some dogs over here. Most of them are caged up. Easy blood. These dogs are evil, so kill them. Oh shit, where'd they come from? There he is. Ah! He got jumped right out of me. <laughs> I hate you, dogs. You're so terrifying. And it's kind of brutal to kill things in a cage, but they're suffering. One around this corner. Got some more of those upgrade stones. Perfect. Here's a couple dogs around here. So we're at this house right here. This old lady asks us if we know any safe places. At the moment, we do not. Doesn't mean that will change. We'll come back and talk to her later to take care of that part of it. But we're going to be going on from there. Well, we do know of one, but I don't think she can get there. Oh, yeah, she's she's not a hunter, so screw her. This area's got a lot of cool shit in it. First off, just to kind of save some time, go down the stairs a little bit. And there is a man who is a little more transformed. <laughs> well, uh... He's got a little more HP. This... Got some blood vials off him. This time, though, we're going to go back up the stairs. And we're going to just start crashing through these barrels. Because, hey, secret door. Uh -huh. There's a couple things we want to get while we're up here. Require a little bit of precision. Dark Souls didn't hide enough things behind barrels. No kidding. A couple different items around here that people dropped. But particularly, there is also people hanging by chains. A very familiar trope. Oh, uh, yeah. We hit the chain. It breaks, drops down below. We'll be going down there in a little bit, but we want to break these items off from the top. There's one more that's a little bit harder to get, but we definitely want to get it. It's this one right here. There we go. I don't... Oh, there's a door over here. We probably want to go through there first. Let me just see if there's anything else that I'm forgetting over here. It's a good chance that there is, because this just this just is. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think there's anything else over here. We want to go through this door. This area is actually a little bit of a safe zone. A little bit. So once we walk up here, there's an actual human standing here. Let's go talk to her or him. It's a her. <laughs> Hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. She gives me bold hunter's masks. I call these the give up decree. <laughs> because, like, if you go to an area where you can't escape, you use this, and your character... Basically transports back to a lantern with all of his with all of his or hers uh, blood echoes. So like if you know you're gonna die, you just use that and you get out of it. And when you do, she uh, your character just face palms. Uh, so it's a homeward bone with a little bit of extra embarrassment. Right. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now. She reminds me a bit of Lucasil. Now we need to talk to her one more time. Still lingering about because she's got one more thing she'd like to give us. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, 
exactly little different from the beasts themselves. He gives us the shake off cape move. So if you've been wondering, are there gestures you can do? Hell yes, there are. Press the motion button. <laughs> so you can change it. You got at this point, we got a couple of them. We'll kind of go through them. This is point forward. This is Hunter's Salutation. I like this one. This is just sit down. <laughs> so you can just sit there. And chill. You gotta get back up. Can you control the length of that one? Yeah, you just stay there. If you don't move, he just sits there forever. Nice. I like Joy, too, where it's just like, yeah. And then there's just this little bit of conviction, just kind of like, yeah. And there's one more. It's kind of wave. I love wave. It's so dorky. Hi. <laughs> I want friends. We got a new one. I don't really want to use conviction because it just seems so lame. We're just kind of like, eh. So we're going to switch that. <laughs> yeah. With Hunter's Rally, I think is the one I got. I also got Shake Off's Cape, too. No, wait, I already have Hunter's Rally. Shake Off Cape is the one I got. Yeah. So if I get something with a cape, I just flip my cape a little bit. And I don't have a cape, so it doesn't work. But when I do, oh boy. Well, you do shake the trench. Yeah. Okay. Now that we managed to get everything we want to do up top from here, we gotta drop down. And there's a dude right there. <laughs> Hello. He's got a big stick. I do like that you take fall damage, but if you're near an enemy, you can also regain it from them. Yeah. There's a guy over here with a gun, so we want to sneak past these. And there he is. It's good at this point to take care of this part while you're on the upper level, because if you fall way down below, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But there's a lot of good stuff around here. It's definitely worth taking this. This is kind of a sidetrack from where we need to go. But there's a lot of good stuff around here. Cloth physics what? look better than they were in Dark Souls 2. Oh, they're gorgeous in this game. <laughs> if you notice, he's dying and I'm still swinging and it's healing me. I do like that too. As long as they haven't ragdolled, you can get health back. Yep. Thank God, because he hit me and I want to gain health back. <laughs> so back to this side, we got this little door here. We want to be careful, because there's two gunmen, and there's also one of those beasts, dude. We want to get the gunmen out first, so here we go. Oh, shit, I ran face first into one. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I'm dead. It's kind of easy to die in this game. I might be able to avoid that altogether, at least at this point, because I got those items cut down. That's really what I want. I kind of like the idea that the you can heal yourself while hitting while they're dying. That just shows a little bit more of savage brutality of your character. Because <laughs> yeah, you're just beating them while they're dying. And you do have the beast curse as well. Yep, I'm just gonna run through that guy and ignore him completely. Like Ferris Bueller. Bow, bow. Now I've gotta fight all those dumb dogs again. Stupid duck hunt dogs. <laughs> They don't seem particularly smart. Ah, they're dogs. So instead, we're going to go down to the bottom where the sewers are. That's where the items fell. Oh, damn, I didn't know he had that much of a combo. Wow, that surprised me. I did not know he had a four hit combo. Usually just has a one hit combo. Hey, at least you dropped me a upgrade stone, so. Nice. No harm done. 
I don't think I'll have to fight you, so I'm just going to drop down here. Too bad there are ginormous rats down here. They're bigger than the ones in Dark Souls. Oh, shit. Well, not bigger than the, the big, big one, but right. they're big. You'll see them. They look a lot more vicious, too. They, they drop throwing knives, though. So one of the items that dropped down is a saw spear. <laughs> That's a weapon. So we want to equip that, actually. So this is my other weapon. It's a cleaver, but also a spear. So it's also got this big stab, too. Let's play around with that a little bit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he like fell on me like five times. My only problem with this area is that they made a clear separation from one side to another, so I have to drop down to get to that other side. Bullshit. I'm still enjoying how they gave each weapon two different modes. And each one feels distinct and unique, like the other one gives it more of a range. Seems like such a good idea. I think it makes up for the fact that I think there's a lot more limited weapons. And also, if you notice, the swing, the things like swing speed and range get majorly affected. Like, the spear end is much slower than just the cleaver design. Mm -hmm. All right, we picked up something kind of important. It's called Madman's Knowledge. I don't know how to necessarily describe this item, but it's useful and you should pop it. <laughs> it makes you more perceptive and you start noticing more things the more you get these. Every time you kill a boss, you tend to gain them and you also find them in these stones called Madman's Knowledge. It helps later in the game, too. Especially if you ever want to co-op in this game, you need to find as many as you can. Because they're used as a form of currency for co-op. <laughs> hey, you will notice that in the top right corner, now we have a one against that eye. Yep. Now, one major complaint I make about this game is the co-op feature is a lot more difficult to do, and it's limited to per use of that knowledge thing. Which makes it a little obnoxious. I think there's some guys over here somewhere. Nope. All right. I imagine if enough people hate it, they'll patch it. Hopefully. It's too difficult to do co-op. Because, um, like, say if, say if you wanted to co-op with me, you would have to go into your network settings on this game, create a password for your network, that's the same as my password for my network. And then you have to find this bell and I have to find a different bell to summon each other. OK, so first off, there's this pit down here and it is full of dead people. Don't be fooled because those dead people come back to life and they murder your ass when you go for that thing. Of course. So first we're going to go up this ladder. Could you Molotov them? Uh, yeah, but Molotov kind of works interestingly. We're smoking a firebomb that doesn't seem to hit many enemies at once. We first, want, if we're gonna go down there eventually, but first I want to go up here and do something. Oh, hello, egg, ugly ass crows. Ah, shit. Fuck you, you crows. They tend to drop pebbles, because crows love them pebbles. I don't know, the madman's knowledge. Perfect. Gonna shove that in your brain? Shove that in my brain. Now I'm crazier. Now, the only thing about going up to the shortcut area is you have to fight one of these ogres, and he's not holding a brick this time. He's holding a whole statue. <laughs> But same thing, you can... Oh, shit! I didn't expect that! <laughs> I thought he was going to stall, but apparently he lied. Oh, yeah. 
All right, there's another ladder over here. We want to go up. And here's the last shortcut gate of this particular area. It is closed by a device. We just got to pull the lever. Actually, living in Yarna must be a hassle and a half. Oh, no kidding. Before we go through the gate, though, let's talk to this window. <laughs> There's nobody there. Let's just talk to it. <laughs> but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And this is where you look for my mom. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone and scared. So she, you offer to find the girl's mother, and we're going to do that. Red-jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. That's such a creepy little scene because it establishes a couple different things about the narrative. For one, the character in this window says, I could smell you, that you're a hunter. People don't usually smell people, so that tells me something that she's probably part beast herself. And you actually hear that a number of times from other people. I smell you. So it tells you that I think some of these people in this area are half trans transformed to beast as they are. She also mentions that her father tends to forget who he is, so he's in the midst of transforming himself. And probably the mother is as well, so like everybody in this town is cursed to transform into these monsters, which is sad. But this is the reason we open up this gate. It sends us back to the water fountain. That's another little shortcut. But we're going back. So we got some shit to do. Plus we're getting close to the boss, so... There's some things we want to do first before we get there. Here's a couple items down here, so we're going to drop down. I don't think it's worth getting that item, but... Fuck it. It's bullets. And about ten dudes revive. So we're not fighting that nonsense. Luckily, they're slow. They're these half zombie dudes. They kind of hit hard. And crows drop down. Brand. Ah, shit, I hit the crows. Up, oh, one caught up. Can't get away from it, that. <laughs> oh, yeah, injection. Couple items to look for, and anytime you see just a corpse lying on the ground, kill it. If you can target it, it dies. The funny thing is you can't target it when it's laying on the ground, and enemies, because this game is so kind of a set color, they're sometimes kind of a pain in the ass to see. Let's hit him with this other form, the big stab. Oh, that's so good. Hit all three of them. Nice. Do you need to let it charge up fully, or can you half charge it? You can just let go as a normal, but it just does way more damage the other way. Also, if you do forward and R2, is his leaping attack. It's no longer triggered to the R1, unfortunately, so if you're used to that, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So, here's the thing. We want something down that hallway, but we do not want to go down that hallway right from this angle. I'll show you why. Oh, on crows. <laughs> I hate the crows. They're freaky. So if you notice, you kind of see something down there. Yeah. It seems kind of big, doesn't it? And kind of coming at you. Yeah. It's a one-hit killer, because it charges at you. 
It is a deformed pig. We're getting the fuck out of here. And it killed me, Grand. Wow. As I was going up there, it's a big ass pig. We're gonna kill that in it from another angle. Okay, now that I pretty much got, I mean, I'm gonna go back there and get the stuff that is behind him, but um, I think from this point we could probably head directly to the boss. Uh, except the doll is alive. And the doll is alive. And he dropped the, the beckoning bell and the silencing blank. This is the co-op item and the remove co-op item. The beckoning bell kind of works more like a, hey, I'm available for co-oping with anybody, but also tends to attract invaders too, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Hmm. There's ways to prevent it, but yeah. It's a system that has some room to be desired here. You know what? I bet I could level up. I think I have enough of those stones to pop. So we'll pop those. Nice thing is if you pop them, it just pops them all at once. <laughs> oh, so you can see use or use multiples. I don't use multiples. So shabams. And use that one too. Let's talk to the doll, who's a really tall doll. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. I'll actually give this doll a name, but it's known as a doll. Pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. She has an interesting accent, too. And I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. We're gonna channel blood echoes. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me She she levels you in a very awkward way. Shut your eyes. It, she just kinda throws light at your dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leveling works in the same way as it did before. So with this character, I think we need more health. The problem, the only problem I find with this game is it seems like you have to level confirm and then level confirm. So I'm going to get more skill. And I don't think I can level up again here. Well, maybe. Nope. I got two levels, so I managed to make myself stronger and take more hits. There we go. And we can talk to her. You speak with Gammon. He was a hunter long, long ago. I thought she said, do you speak German? <laughs> Sprechen Sie doll. Sprechen Sie murder. Unseen in the dreaming world. Sprechen Sie blood echo. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Let's compare the weapon strengths here we have going on, just because we've leveled up our skill here. And I think the other weapon gets more boost from strength. That's about even strength to strength to skill. Yeah, the cane does more damage, so we're going to use that. And let's also see if we can level up another attack level. Nope, we'll wait. So are you ready to see the first boss? <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go see the first boss. 